Hello and welcome to this video demonstration on enumeration. So the first thing I want to quickly talk about is default password lists. So what you need to do is open up your favorite browser. In this case I'm going to be using Firefox on Kelly Linux. Um, and just go to your favorite search engine. Mine is Google. and just search for default password lists. Okay, so if we go through the default password list, you can see there are over 30 million results, which shows you that you should always change your default password on your devices. So if we go to, for example, this one, which is the one I like to use the most, um, you will see that they have, in a very nice format, the manufacturer, the product, what revision it is, and then the protocol to connect to it, as well as the default username and password. Now, when you are doing your enumeration or your scanning and you come across a device, when you're doing the banner grab and you get what kind of device it is, you'll be surprised how many times the default password hasn't actually been changed. And this is the resource to use to find uh, default passwords. Great, now let's go look at some tools in Kali Linux to help with enumeration. So what we'll be looking at is a NBT scan for NetBIOS, NMD lookup, also a NetBIOS tool, SMB client, RPC client, and the harvester. So let's quickly start with MBT scan. So what we need to do is open up a terminal and you literally just do MBT scan and then your IP range, 192, 168. I'm using the same lab I've used before, dot one, dot one, two, two, five, five. Now, as you can see, it very, very quickly comes back with a fully enumerated Network. So as you can see, I've got quite a few devices. I've got a MacBook Pro running. I've got a couple of Windows machines running. I've got a Metasploitable VM running. Um, and it comes back with the IP addresses and the MAC addresses. So this is another form of, of scanning. So it, it brings back very similar information to Nmap. The only thing it doesn't bring back are the open ports, but it does give you a really nice view of the actual machine name, which is what you don't generally get in Nmap unless you specifically ask for it. All right, let's move on to NMB lookup. So NMB lookup, you pretty much look at a specific machine. So you do NB, NMB lookup, sorry, minus A, and let's look at that 108 IP. So 192.168.1.108. Great. So as you can see, it's enumerated the um, NetBIOS for 108. You can see the name, the name of the domain, as well as a whole bunch of NetBIOS things, as well as an MS Browse link here. So as you can see, this can be very, very useful in looking up your NetBIOS on a specific Windows machine. So the enumeration here, specifically, we're looking at uh, NetBIOS on Windows networks. And as you can see, there's a whole host of information that you can get from NetBIOS. Okay, now we're going to try and connect to the same machine using SMB client. So let's look at, sorry, let me just minimize that again. Let's look at the, the command for SMB client. Okay, so SMB client, what we're trying to do is connect using a null session, in other words, anonymous access. And this happens when your sysadmin hasn't configured your server correctly and allows an anonymous connections to your admin shares. So let's quickly try that. SMB client minus I. Let's do the same machine, 192.168.1.108 minus L. The domain is domain2 and minus n for no password, and minus u, and an empty username. Great. 
As you can see, it's connected to a Windows server. It's given me an access denied, which means that the, the shares are being protected. However, it did allow anonymous logging. And it's given me a very nice banner. It's given me the exact version of Windows Server 2003 that's running on this box, the server name, as well as the workgroup and domain. Not very helpful, but let's try another tool. Let's try RPC Client, which does similar things, but actually helps um, give you proper domain information if it is connected. Okay, so RPC client minus U uh, an empty username and then the IP address 192.168.1.108 It's prompting me for a password which tells me that the null share has been protected properly. So if I hit enter, it will tell me it cannot connect to the server. However, I am going to connect with an authenticated administrator account to show you the information that you can get should the null session be open to vulnerabilities. So let's see. I type the administrator password in and I get an RPC client prompt. Now what I can do is run the command enum dom users for enumerate domain users. And there we go. It's obviously a, a very blank domain controller this, but obviously if you were connecting to a production domain, you'd be able to get a list of every single user. And then the other command which is quite useful is query dom info or query domain info. And there I can see it's got the server, I've got five users, eight groups, 21 aliases, etc, etc. So as you can see, having a null session, vulnerability on your Windows Server Domain Controller could be very, very useful for enumeration because it will give you pretty much a list of users as well as groups, etc. All right, I want to quickly finish off with a tool called The Harvester. Now, The Harvester is an awesome information gathering tool and you run it using the command as such. Let me just make some space here so I can actually see that command properly. Okay. So, and it's literally used for querying a domain information on Google, so or whichever um, search engine you prefer to use. So it's the command is the harvester minus d, and the domain I'm going to use here is Thundercloud. But I highly recommend you use it on a production domain because you'll be amazed at the number of um, results you'll get by just scanning Google. Minus L will give you the number of searches. I'm only going to go to 500. And then minus B will give you the search engine. So the one I'm going to use here is Google. And I'm not expecting much back because there's not much about this domain. It's literally just used for testing purposes. So let's just hit the enter key and then you'll see what it will do. So what it would come back with, if it found any emails with that domain, it would list them all here. And if it found any hosts, like your website, dev, etc, etc, it would list them here as long as the IPs and the IP ranges. So it's a very useful tool. Um, to get all the command options, literally just type the harvester. And then you will see all the different parameters that you can set for this tool which is a great information gathering tool. And that pretty much ends this video on enumeration. And thank you very much for watching.